Have you seen all these cool hexagon notebooks and paper that they have on Amazon? I bought three of the ones I thought looked the most interesting and I'm gonna test them out in this video. First, I'm gonna show you the Ben's note paper and hey, check it out. It comes with this cool guide that shows you how to draw Newman and Fisher projections. I thought that was pretty neat. I'm gonna use a couple different types of pens and a pencil and a highlighter on uh, each of these different types of paper so you can kind of see how dark the green lines are relative to whatever you might be writing with. One of the things that does concern me a little bit about the Ben's note paper is that the green lines of the hexagons are pretty dark. If you take notes with a pencil and you write kind of softly, it is possible that your notes might not show up against this uh, the background of this paper. Mine show up fine, but I do push pretty hard when I write. I didn't have a hard time writing neatly, even though there are not any horizontal lines on the Ben's note paper, I was able to center my words just kind of in between the hexagons, it worked out pretty well. And of course, I definitely had to try drawing a Newman projection, and I was super happy with how easy and quick it is to draw Newman projections with this paper. And then in terms of bleed through on the back, Ben's note paper is really great, like uh, not very much bled through, you can see the highlighter a little bit, but it turned out really well. Next, I'm gonna show you this notebook that's a combination of lines and hexagons. From the cover, I was expecting the left half of each page to be lined and the right half of each page to be hexagons, but you can see that that's not the case. And I was kind of disappointed by that. And then I got even more disappointed when I started drawing and I realized, oh my gosh, the hexagons are sideways. Like, oh, I do not like that at all. And it also made the straight chain molecules end up looking really awkward as well. Uh, and I just did not enjoy drawing my molecules uh, sideways like this. It just really bothered me. I um, am trying really hard to come up with something nice to say right now, but I'm struggling. And for some reason, I didn't even like the way my Newman projection turned out on this paper. At this point, I think I just have a bad attitude about it. Also, the bleed through on this paper was really bad. Check it out. Last time I'm gonna show you a notebook that is a combination of hexagons and horizontal lines right on top of each other. And I think this is a really, really cool idea. This is gonna make it really easy to write notes or uh, write words and then also draw structures all in the same space. If you like your notes to be super neat and tidy like this, I think is probably the best tool for that. I'm really happy with the darkness or the, I guess the lightness of the hexagons and the horizontal lines. You can see that my pencil shows up really well over the top of these lines because the, the lines aren't that dark. And I think that that's fantastic. Uh, I love the size of the hexagons. I love the, the width of the horizontal lines. The bleed through on this paper is not bad. It's not as good as the Ben's note paper. There's a little bit of bleed through, but really it's really not that bad at all. And I just really enjoyed writing on this paper. Like even though, you know, I was done testing it, I was uh, excited to try drawing five membered ring, which was pretty easy. Uh, also <laughs> took a couple of attempts at drawing a chair conformation really failed miserably. I'm sure there's a technique for drawing chair conformations. Fisher projection turned out pretty well. I love this paper. I think it is super cool and I really wish that I had access to something like this when I was a student. Oh, there's another gross chair conformation. Don't judge me. So this notebook, ugh, I did not like it at all, but the hexagonal notebook, as well as the Ben's note paper, I liked both of them quite a bit. One of the advantages of the Ben's note paper is that it does come in a lot of different formats, even flashcards, which I thought was really cool. I didn't see any other formats for the hexagonal notebook, but I still loved it anyways. And if you're looking for hexagonal paper, I would strongly recommend either one of these. I think both of them are really awesome. If you try them out and you like one or the other, uh, let us know.